After the British Open moved venues to the glass court at the Rep, the PSA World Championships qualifying event took centre stage at Edgebaston Priory Club, with 84 players aiming to secure one of 12 spots at the sport's biggest tournaments. Six qualifying places have already been confirmed at the PSA World Championships. You can catch up on those results on the video we have already posted on the PSA Squash TV YouTube channel and Squash TV. The opening match on court four saw Spain's Marta Dominguez Fernandez take on England's Alicia Mead. Fernandez, who qualified for last season's World Championships, came through to make a second Worlds in succession thanks to winning the third and fourth games of her clash with Mead. Yeah, I, I'm really happy. It's the second time that I, I can go to the World Championship, so for me it's amazing, it's a dream. I, I was nervous, but uh, I think I played really, really good, so I'm happy with my performance and to be in the World Championship. The English interest continued into the second match of the day as Simon Herbert took on number six seed Martin Speck. Herbert had started the week with a wildcard spot at the British Open, taking Germany's Rafael Kandra to a fifth game. His good form continued into the qualifying event, and after beating Daniel McBib on day two, he then got the better of a second Czech player in Martin Speck. Uh, well, I did get a late call up for the British, um, and um, it was a it was a surreal experience. I played Manchester last year, but this year I feel a better form. I feel I can challenge these boys. So, practicing it, like playing with Kandra was great practice because he's a left-hander. I played two left-handers in this World Championship qualifiers, so I think it set me up quite well. So, yeah. Malaysia's Ira Azman was the next to secure her spot at this year's World Championships. She took on Mena Hamid in the qualifying finals, and despite suffering a dead leg during the contest, she was able to win in straight games. The Malaysian, the number three seed for the competition, suffered the dead leg on the opening point of the third game. After receiving treatment, she came back onto court and quickly reeled off winners to secure the victory, and to join her older sister Aifa as the fifth pair of siblings at the PSA World Championships in Chicago. <laughs> Very happy to qualify for the World Championship for next month. Uh, I just tried to push myself through because I already to love up, so I think uh, mum was quite delighted for us to be <laughs> playing there. Uh, it's my first time, so I think she would support me and go through all of it together. The main attraction of the week was former world number 7 Mohamed Abu Elgar. The Egyptian, who has reached the last 16 of the sports premier event on three occasions, including on his last appearance in 2020-2021, was one of the favourites to book his place. He did not disappoint, as he defeated England's James Peach 3-1 in the qualifying finals. Yeah, I feel great. Uh, uh, I mean, before uh, starting my comeback, I knew that there is potentially a chance that uh, I'd have to qualify. and. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm very happy I'm through. Yeah, I'll, uh, I mean, uh, I'll, I'll probably wait until September for, uh, for my uh, next tournament after Chicago because I don't think I would get in in Elguna, but uh, yeah, it's part of the process. I, uh, I'm happy I'm back. Uh, uh, I'm, I mean, competition match is something different than training. You know, you can train as much as you can, but uh, once uh, it's an official match, it's different. So uh, yeah, I'm happy I'm getting some matches under my belt and uh, start in a good place at the World Champs, hopefully. He was followed by another Egyptian victor, as 18-year-old Malik Kafagi also downed English opposition. Kafagi had gotten the better of the tournament's number 5 seed to reach the qualifying finals, where she came up against Asia Harris. The two juniors went head-to-head -head for a place at the World Championships, but a tight first game went the way of the Egyptian. She then went on to win both the second and third games by 11-6 scorelines to reach the sport's biggest tournament for the first time. As I said, I, I can't believe it. I, like a week or two weeks ago, I was playing a 5K. Now I'm playing a World Championship. It's like, it, it doesn't make any sense to me. After winning like three matches, it's, 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 it's like, yeah, I can't believe it, really. Um, yeah, I'm, tr I'm gonna try to give it everything in my World, in the World Championship. I'm trying, maybe I, will, I could win one match or something. I, I would give everything. Yeah, I, I'm so happy. The last man to reach this season's World Championships was Malaysia's Ivan Ewan, who played England's Finlay Withington. The first went Ewan's way with a 13-11 scoreline, before he then doubled his advantage in the contest comfortably. The third also went to a tie-break, with Withington having his chances to extend the match. However, the Malaysian came through it 14-12 to reach the World Championships for a seventh time. Uh, definitely it's great to, to make it to the main draw of the World Championships here. I mean, I've, I've, I haven't been playing tournament for, for quite some time now, for four to five months now and it's, it's good to be back winning again match by match although it's not a tournament yet but yeah I'm definitely happy to be you know to qualify for the World Championships this year and definitely looking forward to it. 
The 2022-23 PSA World Championships presented by the Walter family will take place across two venues in Chicago from May the 3rd to 11th this year, with both the University Club of Chicago and Union Station playing host to the tournaments. Follow all the action that week on the PSA World Tour social pages and at psaworldtour.com.